Welcome. Today I will show you how you can set up your brand new Android running Android 13. So anyway, let's get straight to it. And to be completely honest, it doesn't really differ much from Android 12. But anyway, so first page we do have the language selection and accessibility. Language is correct for me, so I'm just going to select get started. Then we can insert our SIM card. You can either download the eSIM or just pop in the SIM card. I'm not going to do either of those. Then next page we have Wi-Fi connection. Now, if you choose to either insert your SIM card or connect to your Wi-Fi, you will also be able to log into your Google account. Now, assuming you skip both of them, like I will, uh, you will lose that option. And usually date and time is not set correctly. Now on the next page we have some Google services. We have location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can read exactly what these do by tapping on this drop down arrow. And if you don't want it, just turn it off. Now next page you can set up a screen lock. By default it opts into a four digit pin, but you can tap screen lock options and change it also to a pattern or password. And if you don't want to protect your device at all, just select skip. Now here it will give us option for navigation style. So it automatically prompts us to try out the gesture navigation. So you can try it out right here or skip it. I think if you choose to skip, it will actually keep the button navigation. So I do prefer gestures. There we go. Can I now use it? Yep, now I can. As you can see, yeah, it switches automatically to gestures. And that looks like finishes up the setup. So let's just swipe up and there we go. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.